hey you guys how are you guys doing girl this room y'all this is a good size room but the thing i mean it's an okay size room but the thing is that i have a lot of stuff back here and all of it is mine okay i'm telling y'all when my husband well my husband came back here when we were having our carpet redone last year was it last year y'all i don't know but anyway um girl he came back here and saw all this stuff because he don't really come back here because it's my area but he came back here saw all my hair products saw all my makeup and started scratching his belly that's what he does when he gets frustrated and thinking about what he can do start scratching his belly i said if you don't get your ass out of here i i know what to do i got me <laughs> Yeah, I know what to do. I got me four large boxes like the ones that they sell at Walmart like the tall large boxes Put my stuff in little baskets and put them in there And they were fine. They were fine. And it was fine. Like get out of my room So y'all this is gonna be two videos in one Yeah, I had to bring that brightness down just a notch just a notch. So y'all my hair is thriving she's a bit messy today but she's thriving my hair this is isn't my hair stretch this is now my normal quote-unquote normal length twist out length and i hadn't been wearing my hair out in a long time and so i'm like wait a minute did i do this on blowing out hair no this is my this is the length that i'm getting now so yes it's like my hair hit like a, 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 a wonder year or some shit, girl. Um, <laughs> so, y'all, like I said, this is going to be multiple videos and one. So, y'all, this is a regular chit-chat. Y'all know how it goes. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on YouTube, and what I'm watching on TV. And I got some notes here because a lot has happened since my last chit-chat. Because that chit-chat I recorded in the middle of me being away from y'all. <laughs> um... Girl, I got so much stuff. Let me show y'all the stuff I bought since y'all haven't been really um, talking to me. And I've been talking to y'all. Y'all, hold on. It's, I still feel like it's a little shadow. But anyway, um, I've been buying a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show y'all uh, what I've been buying and what I'm going to be using for my twist out. I'm going to be using a um, product by Eden Body Works. I can't even remember if I've ever used this before. I'm going to say no. I have not used her before so, so it's by Eden Body Works which I do enjoy their um, products especially their deep conditioner it is their natural curl defining cream so Suave has a couple of products out I think it was like three lines I saw but this is the luscious curls with amino acid complex define and soften for workable curly hair this is what this looks like can y'all see that okay and then we have the shampoo okay and what does the shampoo say cleanse and nourish sulfate free okay they jumping on that bandwagon too i got both of these from walmart okay and i will be reviewing these let's put these back though um i got cream of nature's moisturizing dry defense shampoo from sally's i got eden's body works Peppermint tea tree oil shampoo. My feet. What? Clean off my feet. You need to clean off your feet or you cleaned it off? I need to clean it off. Well, clean it off, child. Anyway, oh, he's going every day turns the TV. I hope he does anyway. Child, he really didn't call himself putting his fluffy butt on a uh, bathroom counter and trying to put his feet in it. I snatched this little butt off that thing so fast. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Anyway, y'all. Um, and just yesterday while I was at Walmart, I saw these products. I think I first saw these products at Target by Emerge. Now, this is their hair mask. I mean, they had everything out there. On the clearance, $3 each. First of all, these are already affordable products. But this is the Emerge Back to Life hair mask. And then I also got the leave-in conditioner. Now, I will not be reviewing these because I've seen very mixed messages for this particular line, okay? Um, so y'all know how we do this. Girl, the mirror on steamed up. So, um, personal life, everything is going well. Um, 
I ordered JB, a, girl, I ordered JB a full-size bed back in March. They tell him I won't be here to mid-May, so he's been sleeping his fluffy butt in my bed. Um, not with us and my husband, us, but I have a little bed in my she room. And so he's been back here rolling around in this bed back here. And so I'm just waiting for it to come back. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm just waiting for his bed. And I'm also, let me move some of this stuff, y'all. I told y'all. I'm also redoing his room. Um, so yeah, y'all. Besides that, everything else is going well. We were kind of, girl. He was getting on my nerves with homeschooling and just talking to some other moms. It's their first year homeschooling. You know, they're all are going through the, you know, similar phases with their children. And so I guess this is going to be the routine, especially for the younger children. Um, and JB is not feeling the school life, you know meaning going back to school and we're we're perfectly fine with that for now even though girl now we are signing him up for camp um boys and girls club they have been very very efficient with containing covid in their facilities so we're doing schooling year round you guys so he's gonna go a week in june and then a week in august okay and so yeah that's what's been going on um besides that y'all i'm trying to really stay low these folks, I don't know about you, baby, but out here in Phoenix, people are now lightening up with the mask. I just came back from um, Fry's. Tons of people walking around with no mask. They are very anti-mask out here. Matter of fact, I don't know if you guys seen a video. We've seen tons of videos by now. A Karen out in Target screaming and upset. This was like last year, I believe. That was out here in Scottsdale. They are not for mask. Matter of fact, um, one of Jamie's little friend friends, we used to get into it. The mom, we would go back and forth because she doesn't believe in masks either. Now she says she'll wear wear them, but she doesn't think masks help. Whatever. Uh, oh. So anyway, y'all. And then we went to Vegas. Yeah, we went to Vegas, but we, you know. We're very cautious of ensuring that we have mask on. Um, my neighbors are going to be having a party for her little girl, but it's going to be outdoors. And I seriously don't even want to stay over there that long because she's inviting a lot of people. And I'm like, I don't want to be over there that long. I mean, it it, it doesn't take a lot, y'all. So anyway. Um, besides that, like I said, everything else is fine. You know, my husband's good getting on my nerves, girl, but he's good. <laughs> he's doing really good. He is telling me, you know, to be careful, you know, about going places because crime is increasing. They're getting several trauma patients coming in. We had another person in our neighborhood who just you guys where we live at we live in a nice neighborhood but we also live very close to one of the um busier highways here so you get a lot of people who are committing crimes and they're running up in our neighborhood you know what i mean so that's been happening a lot we have a lot of homeless or transit people again because it's just the area um and so they stop over in this area walking around not in our neighborhood but just you know near the stores and stuff so at least once a week we're hearing about some drama going on someone either getting shot someone running away from the police and so yeah girl end times i keep telling my husband Order domestic violence is going up y'all hear about that ex-cop out in austin texas a brother too who killed three people i guess he was fired was he a detective he was fired um because he raped a child and I'm, I bet he killed either someone to do with it or one or his family, which is I'm hearing a lot of that going on, like every other day, something like that. So y'all, we're not gonna spend too much time on that because I don't want this to be a, you know, even though we're gonna be talking about some other deaths, but I don't want to spend way too much time on, you know, stuff that's going on in the neighborhood and stuff like that. So anyway, y'all. But I know, speaking of deaths, just two days ago, we heard about Black Rob passed away at 51. Kidney failure, is that what it was, y'all? I had seen pictures and a 
quick videos of him and black rob is the rapper that sung whoa from bad boys yeah i feel like anyone who signed up with diddy is just bad luck um so rest in peace to him um i guess he had had medical issues for a while and of course the passing of dmx um y'all that was <sighs> I don't know sometimes celebrity does you are expecting it but when it comes out like that i was not expecting something like that um very very sad granted i wasn't a huge fan of dmx music um rap music in general i, I really don't listen to a lot of um east coast rap since, since i'm from um i don't really listen to a lot of east coast rap since i'm from the south um and so, but I always admired DMX and I was very aware of him um, praying before his shows, you know, even though he has a mouth on him, praying before his shows and just being that, that humble guy always. Um, I didn't know he had all those kids, y'all. 15 kids? Wow. But let's, let's not focus on that. You know, I don't, don't want to, you know, focus on that. But he was just a, just shed a tear y'all especially when i read sorry when i saw his last supposedly last video where he was reading the bible and yeah i just absolutely sad i saw the tribute by his ex-wife that she made um because it's her it was her birthday a couple of days later after that so oh you guys um on that same when it comes to now kind of moving into youtube i've been watching trying to watch what i watch because i'm getting there to where i'm, I'm feeling a little anxious again so i want to be very careful what i watch on tv but y'all i was watching this guy who has he does interviews with people and it's called his youtube channel is soft white belly i believe is what it is and he does interviews mostly with people from um that live in cali excuse me um everything from homeless people prostitutes pimps um drug addicts escorts and so I I was really watching it mostly last month. And so I must have seen and watched about 40 or 50 of these videos, right? And just hearing these people's stories, because he interviewed them, wanting to know, you know, age, where they're from, their family line. 90% of these people had jacked up family life. They had childhoods, excuse me just messed up child either they were molested um abandonment is a huge one and by the I, by the way i did see that um short not necessarily short the video by roxanne roxanne the rapper from the 80s i love that that movie on netflix by the way but anyway she was talking about how dmx had confided into her this is so sad dmx had confided into her how his mother took him as a young child and dropped him off at a, guess a, um, a group home and left him there, left him there. And that, you know what that could do to a, a child, but yet a small child for your own mother to leave you? <sighs> abandonment issues, again, soft white building on YouTube, abandonment issues, um, molestation, and these people end up doing not all of them but most of them that, that are on drugs or escorting a prostitute they end up going down these paths and it's i think a lot of it is because they're still trying to fill that empty void of not having that childhood or whatever they missed doing their childhood i i and very grateful for my parents i mean they they weren't perfect but dang it i did not have a bad childhood not compared to some of these people um yeah so they my parents did a pretty good job you know with my sister and i in my in my opinion but it makes you very grateful for the childhood you know and especially since i, I grew up with both parents to a certain degree my parents got divorced um when I was in high school, but child, they remarried. <laughs> they remarried when I was in college. But anyway, 
look it up if y'all want to watch it other things that i'm looking up um oh let me back up i don't know if you guys are aware of old school this is an og youtuber the sp nation letter sp nation he's a brother beautiful skin dewy skin he would do videos on luxury luxury items um very popular like around eight seven years ago no 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 eight nine years ago when muffins is my lover april who by the way lives out here april and a teal was really big then um one sexy tina they were all really popping much love all really popping right so i was on his or oh, on my instagram and i saw on his instagram where he shared a picture of him getting out of the hospital so i guess he was in the hospital with double pneumonia um and he was asking for money donations i guess he had to go find me i i wasn't able to find it or look it up um excuse me but i guess his hospital bills are crazy like something like close to a million dollars or something like crazy a crazy number which was he was asking for donations um yeah so saw that so prayers to him you know even though child for a minute there i was like you know what because i will say this you guys i don't follow him on youtube i don't think i do he toned down a bit because i had unsubscribed to him and again some of y'all who've been on here for a while you know what i'm talking about remember that that going back and forth between him muffins and not yeah him muffins and my lover they were basically ganging up on atia because atia had done this video granted it was it was crazy but i love atia she's from east texas atia had done this video where she had um basically showed herself wearing a wig over a lace front or was it a was it an installment you guys yeah, she wore a wig over a quick weave. Something like that. And so, they made videos dragging her. Um, the SB Nation, his name is Brian. I think his, his real name is Brian. He would do videos pretending to be a Tia. Muffins and Design Lover would do. It was very immature. And she always took the high role. She never, you know, clapped back or whatever. I remember actually sending her an uh, email once when you could do that and i was like look sis you know i see the videos you know take the high road don't don't respond um she's from beaumont y'all i think she lives in houston now but she's from beaumont texas originally and she responded back and we we talked you know i think we sent each other like two or three emails back and forth so anyway you just got to be careful with the energy you put out in the atmosphere. That's I'm going to leave it as that. Um, you, you really do. So I had unsub unsubscribed from him back then. But he then came back and he was a little bit mellow. I think he's removed those videos since. He's Now he's a little bit mellow. He, you know, he's basically matured. <laughs> Thank God. So anyway, he's sick. He's getting at the hospital. He's fine. Then I was... I don't know what I was looking at, but I saw someone's video that says, rest in peace, low shore. Yeah, I need to get his name right. Let me look at my notes. This is a brother who actually also used to live out here. I don't know if he still does. He's originally from Ohio, and he used to live out here in Phoenix. The name is Lashua, L-A-O-S-H-U-A. Look up black guy speaks um, Chinese. He speaks fluent Chinese, but he also was learning and had learned several different languages and was speaking them um, like 40, 50 languages, like no, okay, maybe 30, 40 languages, which is still a lot. And it's really difficult for some Westerners to speak Chinese. But the thing that I really admired about, his name was Moses. The thing I really admired about Moses, not only would he learn the language, but then he would learn the different dialects, right? Because he spoke Cantonese, which most people who speak mandarin chinese don't necessarily also speak cantonese um so he would speak arabic and then also Somalian arabic which that's amazing to me and so he would do that and you know which i think this was kind of odd but he would go up to people and just randomly start start talking to them but most of the time the people were fascinated and were okay with that his brother has a youtube channel and his brother is basically saying that the girlfriend had him killed. 
the girlfriend works for the FBI. She speaks multiple languages too. She's a sister too. She has her own YouTube channel. Um, so anyway, brother is putting out this information that he's being killed. Oh, sorry. He was killed. Um, I don't believe that just based on his medical history. So it turned out on her channel, she said that, hey, you can actually go as public record and turned out he actually died from a cardiac arrest. He had gone through a divorce and was, um, you know, issues with the children. So yeah, he was only 39, but prayers to him that and his family, that is just so sad. But something's fishy going on with the brother. They came up as a bit weird to me <laughs> anyway. And from what I understand, him and the brother no longer were speaking. So, yeah, I think that's very odd. Very, very odd. Anyway, y'all. So, not really watching much on YouTube. Um, saw a couple of people are having relationship issues. Um, I'm not going to dwell much on that. But, y'all, divorce is real, you know. But, again, people were already having issues before COVID. It's just that being, you know, under these stressful situations, it just makes it worse. Everything is at the surface, you know what I mean? So, um, what else am I watching on YouTube? You know, speaking of, this lazy ass boy, my neighbor's son putting, <laughs> putting the trash show. The trash, the trash maker, what time is it, girl? I'd be damned with my living son. It's one one forty. The trash man came at 10 o'clock. Brian, whatever your name is. <laughs> y'all know I'm a mess. Let me get on this side. All right, y'all. My hair is so dry. Again, spraying with water first to introduce some moisture. Y'all, let me get my notes. Because, girl, by the way, y'all, I'm kind of blushing. Y'all, guess who responded to me on Instagram? Coffee. From Queen Sugar and Girls Trip, the tall chocolate brother. Um, I guess he's working on some type of uh, project, like old school project. And he had posted something and I'm like, you you a nerd? I didn't know you were a nerd. I'm, I'm digging this energy. So he responded to me with a nerdy glasses and that's it. Now I get it. He may have a team of people who respond to his stuff, but I feel like that was really him because I do see him on other people's channel too. Um, so yeah, he was so, he responded to me. He was digging me, and I told my husband. My husband just looked at me. I'm like, yeah, he he sent me an emoji. <laughs> Police. Uh, so who do I talk about? Okay, I talk about SB Nation. Blah blah blah. Oh, Smith. Well, let me go back to YouTube real quick. Guess who removed their videos? Got to be real, y'all. Every time I'm looking for a good laugh to look at some Hey Retha and the talking cigarette. <laughs> um, but what, from my understand, she has a deal with BET. So BET either purchase her content. This has got to be real. She would do the parodies with um, the divas, and so those videos are no longer there now. That's someone who did copy the stuff and now they have it on their channel but i was sad to see that no, no longer there so y'all let's talk about some stuff i'm looking at first of all let's talk about what i'm not watching i saw the preview three times for them i was excited and then a while i was like oh this is this is making me uneasy then i've seen two reviews one by Ashley, the light skin, um, fair skinned girl. Y'all know Ashley. Um, she does a lot of the Tyler Perry reviews and um, Merit to Medicine, Housewives of Atlanta, Ashley. So, I'm not gonna be able to do it, you guys. I heard that it is very triggering. Um, it's giving us trauma porn and the, the saw someone wrote that if you're not in a good headspace to avoid the series um even ashley said that you know after she watched several episodes she felt very drained i'm not going to be able to do that it looks very good but there's first of all and i love i love that type of horror that type of you know us meets lovecraft country that's what i said i, I feel like it was but unlike lovecraft country i don't think it's giving you a pause 
to sit in your feelings. It's just trauma after trauma after trauma. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Not right now. I'm not doing it. And I, yeah, I'm not doing that. So we're gonna skip that. So <laughs> let me tell you what I did watch and I just finished binge watching all four season was Snowfall. Now Snowfall is off of Hulu. It is um, basically a, it talks about different stories or it portrays different stories, but it's about the crack epidemic in the 80s and how the FBI basically was funneling these drugs into our communities which we know this we've been knowing this but it's very interesting to see it, you know it portrayed like this now um it was produced by John Singleton rest in peace and it stars a girl I didn't know he was Nigerian I didn't know this until I saw an interview and his British accent came out um Desmond Idris Desmond Idris um I know one thing he got that Cali accent down really well really 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 well great actor so yeah y'all snowfall on Hulu so after I saw snowfall I was like oh he's he's young but he's cute then I saw he's gonna be 32 I'm like oh you're not that young but you're still young so I'm like, what else can I see that you've been in so he um was in a movie with Anthony 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 Mackie um, called Outside the Wire and it's on Netflix and it's cute. Let me say that it's cute. It's okay. So it's like a sci-fi futuristic movie and I saw that on Netflix. Again, it's called Outside the Wire. Okay. Now, girl, um, like I said, couldn't catch them. So let's continue on, y'all. What else did I see? Because I have notes here. What else did I see? Girl, Good Girls is back yes but good girls is back but they are not look i told y'all this season i needed to see beth linked up against the shower with rio all up on her i i'm not gonna give a lot away but they're still flirtatious they're getting close but he don't trust her ass and i don't blame him you know i, I do not blame him blame him at all and honestly beth is getting on my nerves y'all so good girls is out and about and I'm watching it because I, I like the chemistry that they have but you know it is what it is I have on my list to see Concrete Cowboy on Netflix that's on my list and Jacob's Ladder girl I don't know why I wrote that down but I want to see Jacob's Ladder girl I've been watching old episodes of, uh, old episodes of Catfish y'all I still cannot I was literally screaming uh oh I was literally screaming at my laptop. Cause I know y'all know which episode it is. You should have never called me a fat Kelly Price. <laughs> the one where the cousin catfished her cousin for three freaking years. Who does that? But how do you, I don't understand how these millennials are getting catfished in 2021. Oh, they getting catfished still? Ciao. I could not stop laughing. Um, just watching and re-watching old episodes of Catfish, y'all. That's all I was doing there. What else am I watching, y'all? So, so, one of y'all told me, a couple of you guys told me to watch, um, Who Murdered Sarah. So, that is on my list to watch that Who Murdered Sarah. Oh, y'all, someone wants to tell you that passed away. If you used to watch Peaky Blinders, the, um, oh, the aunt, Polly, passed away. But did y'all know she was also, what's it name's mama? And Harry Potter, she had a streak of um, a streak of gray. What was her name? Malfoy. She was Malfoy. She was Mrs. Malfoy. Yeah, she was the mother. So she passed away of cancer. That's really sad. She was a great actress. Really, really good. Um, who else am I watching, y'all? What else am I watching? Girl, just last night I rewatched Waiting to Excel. Yeah, I haven't watched Waiting to Excel in so long. And look, movies hit differently when you reach a certain age. Because that movie came out when I was just a child. And so, there were certain parts I was like, whatever, you know, whatever. You know, it is what it is. But, I literally took my time to really enjoy and watch the movie. And and it, like I said, it's it's I'm reacting to it differently now that I'm a you know, grown woman watching it. And I've watched it before since then. But still, I'm like, okay. All right, you know, no Savannah, you should not take him back. No, 
<laughs> um, by the way, she came out with a second part, a book, and I read that. I didn't really care for the book. Y'all, speaking of writing, I will be... I know it won't get this many views, but I will be coming out with another series soon, Storytime series, and I gave you guys a preview on my community page, and it's called Weeping Angels. I already know what the ending is going to be. I typically do that, you guys. I either know, I typically know what the ending is going to be, but trust and believe, when I get on this camera and do my Storytime videos, I am coming up with the story off the dome, um, just off my off the top of my head and thank you to um a subscriber of mine and she's been on on these in these youtube streams for a while girl the voice she told me to make sure that i protect my um basically protect my my product you know protect my my stories and i will do that so i have to register it through for to copyright the stories themselves and so what i think i'm gonna do is just bundle everything into a book and make it short stories so that way i can just have it protected um and i have to write it down because you really can't copyright an idea it needs to be written down dates you need to show proof that it was yours and so the best way for me to do this is to again i could just write down um a storyline and a description dated and then have it copyrighted and boom that way that that's protected so y'all be on the lookout for that like i said it's gonna be i'm gonna be coming out with some story times but it won't be as much because y'all don't watch those y'all be excited but it doesn't get that much traction i'm just rambling now at this point um i hope you guys stay stay tuned for this look whenever i get this out all right you guys take care bye